All right, we back, man. Water God TV. We back with another one, and today we're going over the Israel and Palestine. The war that's going on now. I'm gonna speak to uh, why Black Americans uh, may be more hesitant about this overseas intervention. Okay, I'm gonna go into what I feel. Then I'm gonna break down some statistics uh, from a site where I got some information from. Get y'all that. The Endowment International Peace, the Carnegie. That website, I'm gonna go into um, some facts of why, you know, black Americans aren't going to be, they don't feel, they already got pain and trauma that they done felt that they're dealing with that, and that's going on in the hoods every day is people dying, kids dying, and it's, we're already at war with ourselves. It's hard to even uh, think about having to go out and fix somebody else's problem when you got so many problems. And I'm sure people can understand that poverty in the black community has its all time high. And it's something that a lot of people got to either neglect or help because it's a tough situation. So uh, I'm the environmental specialist. If you're new to the channel, Water God TV, man, I am a water treatment provider. I provide purify air, purify water to homeowners. And I try to bring this to the internet so that we can get more eyes open onto this uh, environmental racism. It's been a lot of, you know, uh, environmental attacks that's been on the inner cities, the black communities that we definitely need to uh, change that narrative and get this out there so people understand what they're dealing with. Um, I also got the book in the description. I got a lot, guys, in the description where you can support uh, things that help you. If you help yourself, you help other people around you. Health, wealth, and a better understanding of self is what I preach. And uh, check out me in the description. I got a lot of things that could help out. And you can support the channel. Now, I'm going to go over four things. The Iran, I mean... Yes, the Iran $6 billion exchange that the U.S. had. Okay, it's a little, that didn't really make too much sense to me. And it's a little, looks a little sticky. And I'm going to go into an article. Let's go right into that. I'm going to go into this article that speaks about it. And saying that this is probably what's going to really hurt Biden. Okay, so. Here, guys, it says that the Iran prisoner swap for six billion in the spotlight after Hamas attacks in Israel. So they're like, "Hold on, what's going on, man? With that six billion dollars, Biden, that you, you know, that you're doing?" So the pa the Palestinian group Hamas surprised assault on Israel Saturday in. Israel's retaliation have killed more than a thousand people, 1,100 people, and focus attention on the Iran-backed Islamist group. Islamist group. Okay, U.S. Security of State Anthony Blinken said on Sunday that Iran has not yet been able to spend a single dollar of the six billion dollar in funds that were unfrozen in a U.S.-Iran prisoner swap in September. Blinken also said that he had not yet seen evidence that Iran directed or was behind this particular attack, but there's certainly a long relationship. So, um, what this, and you guys can read this in your entirety, um, this kind of reminds me personally of like, are they funding two sides? Now we know that the American dollar is just they're printing a lot more money and maybe this could be a ploy to get the American dollar back on top. If you got a lot of wars in a lot of countries, I don't know, but it's seeming like we're helping somebody in each war. And it looks like it's gonna be one in Taiwan and China. And it looks like we're just gonna be funding um, some of these wars. So what does that mean for you know, like black Americans, like how do they feel about that? And I'm gonna go over this article here. And I'll tell you how I feel. I feel that it is war in the streets right now. I was just talking to my, uh, I was just talking to my homie saying that 
man, it's 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 people dying every day from gun violence, children dying. We go through the most trauma and for us to see how people respond for when something happens to their people is alarming because we've had tragedies here out on U.S. soil that we've never got justice for. It happened and it's just, it's, you know, you got to turn the other cheek and move on, but it was never no justice. It was never people standing for what's right, you know? So it just makes everybody a little bit like, what's going on who is this and man we don't hold the same respect for when our people go down so that's just what i um that's what i feel now let me go over what this article says it says why black americans may be more hesitant about overseas military intervention african americans are much less in favor of sending u.s forces to defend ukraine and taiwan than the general U.S. population. According to findings from a new poll from the American Statecraft Program at the Carnegie Endowment. So only 21% of Black Americans supported sending military forces to Ukraine, according to the data collected online in early September. On, in contrast, in a separate poll in August, 38% of all Americans supported sending U.S. troops to defend Ukraine. Support for sending U.S. Uh, military forces it's 21 percent 55 percent general public uh african americans and general public so that's crazy okay and the reason why because they are saying that man we are dealing with poverty we're dealing with violence right here you know and i think we're more fit to go to war for with, with anything because we're already active now, um, here, guys, it says African Americans' hesitation about engaging in armed conflict should not be misinterpreted as a lack of patriotism or even skepticism about America's armed forces. In fact, a vast majority of African Americans polled expressed either very favorable or somewhat favorable views of the U.S. military. <sighs> so, basically, they're saying. Um, in this article it's saying many black Americans may also have concerns about effects of spending taxpayers dollars on overseas operations that could be better spent at home so that's where it is it's like when we see all of this money that's being spent we're saying hey you know this money could be being spent helping the balance of poverty you know the wealth gap you know so it could be an even we got a lot of problems going on in the black community because of some of the justices the injustices that was not handled properly okay by the court system then now you want us to be you want us to stand with these other countries as as, as we're continually going through our trauma right here in the usa so that's what's crazy um but i want to know what y'all think man in the comment section also i want to hit on that trump um so trump and biden um to me politics is all about what you can sell you know and i just feel like biden is not he's not doing a good job of selling uh you know, I see him at the black rallies and trying to get the black community and all of that. But when we look at really what's going on, Trump is a better salesman. You know, he's been in business. He's a better salesman to me. Um, by him just putting like saying that he can prevent World War Three, it's just he's selling the public a lot better than what Biden is. You know, Biden is saying stuff, but it's like we don't really believe it um we believe trump trump can uh you know he didn't he got his hands dirty he's a little he's a different uh kind of character so it's you know for me it's just he's selling a lot better of what he can do um for the u.s but uh he definitely said that uh he's the only one that could prevent a world war three and definitely want to know what y'all think about that um 
so y'all that's it for this video uh definitely comment man i'm an algorithm guy uh if you can comment in the algorithm uh, on the comment section it'll help push the channel you know hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll catch y'all on the next one peace